Mesh Multideform Blueprint is a new addition and free update for the Fractal Toolkit. The Blueprint allows you to perform four different deform actions on any mesh, like stretch, warp, bend and twist, as well as using the combinations of those transforms, giving you a lot of room for creating a new variations of already existing fractal models. So let me show you the functionality of the blueprint. So in the details panel, we'll see we have a control over the mesh. We can change the material. And the interesting option is the tessellation level, which will increase the density of our mesh. And this option is really handy in cases where you go really far and extreme with the deformers. So let's stick with one but by default it's set to zero so let me go for the individual deformers so we can twist we can bend as well as warp which is kind of a wavy effect and we can stretch it and we can also combine all of those deformers together so there's a lot of control over the final look of our mesh and if we go to edit mode instead of the game mode by hitting g we'll see those arrows which represents the kind of a pivot points of the deformers so we can switch the visibility of them over here and I'm not gonna go through the individual settings of the deformers not to insult their intelligence because the settings are quite self-explanatory and I would encourage you to just experiment with them and to discover just intuitively what you can achieve with those settings because there are so many options and different kind of possibilities when you combine all of those settings and deforms together. So we can go ahead and just play and see what you can discover. Here are some more examples of the original fractal mesh and the deform one. So we can go quite far with generation of the more varieties of the meshes. So we are not stuck only with the original meshes. We can expand the variety even more using the mesh multi-deform blueprint. And as you can see, the texture is holding quite all right because uh, triplanar mapping is turned on. But the baked texture, which is the normal map and RGA mask, is a bit stretched and we can see it. there's a bit of a detriment to the texture quality. But overall, I think uh, even if you deform the mesh quite a bit, I would say the quality is holding up still. And very important thing to mention is that this particular blueprint will work only on the UE 5.1 onwards with the caveat that I would recommend to work with this blueprint on 5.2 because the plugin that enables this blueprint to work is stable in version 5.2. I haven't encountered any problems on 5.1 but the plugin should be more stable on 5.2. So we have to make sure that you have plugin, which is called procedural content generation framework is turned on. So if you turn it on, you will have to restart the editor and that's it. You can just use the blueprint straight away. So this is just a little update for you. And if you haven't seen the fractal toolkit pack already, I invite you to take a look at it. The link should appear somewhere at the top. And by the way, the Mesh multi deform Blueprint should be available soon at the Unreal Engine Marketplace as a standalone tool. Thanks for watching and take care guys.